Today's lesson is about the organizational structure. It can be found again under admin, your organization, and then here the third one is organizational structure. By default, and I'm closing these tabs to get a little bit better overview on the general tab, by default, this one is disabled, means there's no check mark on this one. Uh, for our organization, it has already been enabled, and once it's been enabled, you can roll back. So by default, it's, it's disabled, and our suggestion is to leave it like that. Uh, we don't advise to implement this uh, because it's used for data segmentation and it gives you a lot of granularity on uh, on your structure how it's been set up in autodesk you already have a lot of features available for like example the the ticket categories the types of services you have sls for reporting you can use it by your internal locations your departments so there's a lot of ways to segment your data if you really are in the need for more data segmentation, then I would suggest later on, once you get up and running with Autodesk and you get your, your bearings, then enable this one. It has a level one and a level two. Level one is kind of default sections on how you want to define your organizational structure. Some people say it's branches because it's a different location, or it's going to be a business unit, depending on maybe what kind of type of services or product you do in, in, the, in that segment division or sector you can have different naming conventions and the level two is then again on defining okay uh, what is what is defined in there these are canned options from autodesk you don't have uh, you, you can't really choose, change those ones once you have set it up and then you go to level one it's basically the division and it's a little bit easier to first go to level two line of business because here you have the ability to add your own line of business names we already put a couple of them in there like cabling it services you have the option to do new you can say okay maybe uh, maybe managed services would be also one of those organizational structures that you want to do the name could be the same as as the description description is not uh, not managed and you can have a division that's associated with it we'll put it over there and you press save and close so now you have a new line of business and now you can it's it's basically being put in general if you go to the third tab here on the bottom, if we expand this one organizational structure, then you already see now that the newly created line of business that I did, managed services, is now already listed on the general. If you want to have a different uh, uh, level one, then again, also here over here, you have the option to uh, create that new uh, new general uh, division, that, that branch, and you can then say, okay, well, that's, for example, that's going to be only assigned with the network install, and that's how you can create those divisions. Once you're done, don't forget to press the save button here on the top, and that will give you the, the new setup of, uh, of this one. So the first general tab is to enable or disable it. I would always say expand that one and leave the bottom one expanded because this one gives you basically the visual overview of, of how you have it set up. Later on, you can always make changes on, on how this structure is. But again, uh, this section, if you don't want to use it, then leave it off and just uh, I kind of ignore this section for that. I hope that uh, explains the features of the organizational structure. If you have some questions or comments or concerns, uh, let us know through our Facebook group and we'll be happy to help you from there. Thank you.